Hey, it's your girl T nailed it back with another video, and I will be doing this look. And all of these acrylic colors I made myself. <laughs> so hit me up if you um would like to purchase. So I'm starting off with this hot pink. It's it's hot pink, but in this video, I don't know if you can't really tell, but it's hot pink. And basically, I'm just putting it on there. I'm shaping it up. I pretty much use all of my own acrylic colors that I make myself because it's easier for me to work with. This color is so pretty. This one will be solid pink as well. And thank you guys for commenting and subscribing and all that good stuff on my other posts. And I appreciate it very much. But if you are new to my channel, please like, share, and subscribe. I will be putting out videos weekly. And if there is something that you would like to see me do, just let me know in the comment box. I mean, in the comments below. So on this finger, I will be doing a clouded marble look. I'm guessing, like, it's like a clouded look. And basically, you just kind of, like, spot it everywhere. Just kind of just spot it everywhere. Not too much, not too little. I think my cup and with this look I suggest you to do use light colors because when you do dark colors it's kind of hard to kind of mesh them out you know so just try your best to use light colors I will lean more towards light colors or colors that's not strongly pigmented like this blue is it, strong but the pigment is not really strong so it was it was okay. So this is a clouded marble look. Well now I'm just encapsulating the look. And that pink looks so good. Like, now that it didn't turn matte, it looks so pretty. So, I'm going to do the same thing with the thumb. And like I said, you don't want to use too strong of pigment colors. Which these colors, they're pretty vibrant, but not, you know, you just don't want it too vibrant. Where, you know, it's overpowering the next color beside it. So you, you kind of just want it all to, you know, blend, be, you know, nice to each other, I guess. And... It looks so pretty, you guys. Oh, and congratulations to my winners. I wish I 
had wrote down y'all names before I started this so I could tell y'all who it was the winners. But congratulations to all of my winners. And I appreciate everybody who entered and I will be doing another giveaway pretty soon. Maybe in this video. Maybe I should say a keyword in this video. Ooh. <laughs> And I didn't feel like the keyword was that hard to find. A lot of people like, I don't hear it. I listen. I watched it so many times. I don't hear it. And I'm like, oh, I thought I, I thought it was pretty noticeable. But yes, now I'm encapsulating this look. And I'm record. I'm doing my what's over at three twenty five in the morning. My stomach growling. <laughs> So I'm putting a thin layer of clear acrylic on this nail. And then I'm going to put some of this gorgeous glitter on here. And I actually got this glitter off of Amazon. And I'll link it down below so you guys can get y'all some because it's gorgeous. People love this glitter. So this is how I do my glitter look. You know, to make it look, you know, all nice and full. I actually prefer doing the raw glitter, even though it's harder to deal with. But I, I prefer it because it just look better to me. You know, it, you can see, like, all the detail in it. But, you know, instead of having it inside of the acrylic. But both ways work the, work the same, but I just prefer this look better. So I'm just putting thin layers of clear acrylic on there. And then I'm putting my glitter on there. So I'm gonna encapsulate this look and once I get it all covered, boom, 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 covering it, I'm going to put glitter on top of that. Just a few pieces, not a lot. Just to make it, give it a 3D look, and I love it. And I just figured this out on my own. I was just like, you know what? I want this to pop, pop. So I put the glitter on there on top, baby. When I say pop, it pops. It make it, it, make it so much better. And so now I'm just going and I'm fouling with shaping. And I love to shape nails. Oh. If your shaping is off, it's, it's nothing. You can, We cannot revive nails. If your shape ugly, your nails ugly. <laughs> so I'm just shaping them. That's so pretty. Her, she got some real pretty hands. Real pretty hands. And her nails straight. They not creaky. Uh, I love her fingers. Okay, so here I will be doing the good. I mean the crystal placement. And I'm just going to place some crystals on there. In the way I like them placed. And I use, um... What is it? SDR glue. Nail glue. And I love it. You know. And my clients crystals stay on. I know a lot of people like to use the gel. Which I use the gel. You know in some scenarios. But mostly I, I'm you know trying to be quick. I got another client. And so I just use the. Um, the glue. And it's just, it worked just, just as good. To me. It's just my my like my tip to you guys is to not let it dry and then try to place a crystal on there. Because if you let it dry, you have to foul it off and then 
place a crystal on there because like it make it like how you say like it make it smooth and you want it to be placed on a rough surface like a tacky surface so it can actually adhere to the nail and not you know be sliding off so that's why for every crystal I place I put a dot of glue I don't you know overdo it try to put three dots of glue or try to you know go ahead of myself because if it dries then that crystal is going to come off So I'm just placing my crystals. I like the little, um, like the little crown look at the top of the nail for it to be more crystals at the top than the bottom. You know, some people, you know, just place them, you know, any type of way. But I like more at the top than the bottom. And so now I am um, <laughs> putting the top coat on there, and I'm just going around the edges and stuff. And that's pretty much it for this look. So I hope to see you guys in my next video share and subscribe uh my instagram information will be linked down below and i hope to see you guys in my next video five star cheek